I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my uh. friends. So we are in the ice and fire dimension. And I'll be cheating uh. with this one-way glass to see whatever my friend Cardi spawns in. Anyways, Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Smokey, and I'm totally gonna spawn way better mobs than you. We'll see about that, Cardi. Anyways, let the mob battle begin. And now that the battle has officially started, we can take a look through our one-way glass wall to see what kind of mobs Cardi spawns in. And remember, there is an ice and fire switch, which means he can turn his mobs into an ice variant and a fire variant. So this is gonna be really cool, but let's see what he spawns in first. And it looks like he is literally spawning in places. Okay, so I wonder what he's gonna do with this. And it looks like he's trying to pick a lever right now. He's looking at the ice lever, but he's heading over to the fire lever. And let's see what happens when he flicks it right about now. And what on earth did this turn into? It literally made it side the fire side. And I think it mutated his blazes into some giant kind of blaze that has armor or something. Okay, wow, that looks really cool, but I want to try out something. So Cardi used a really basic fire mob that round. And I think I want to try using a really basic ice mob this round because, you know, ice will obviously beat fire. And the really basic snow mob I want to use is actually muted snow golems, but we aren't going to leave them just like this because I want to turn it into something special that I've never tried out before. So if we get some shears and come up to our muted snow golems and right click them, it actually uh, removes their head and it looks a little bit derpy. But what I want to do is I want to remove all the snowmen's heads just like this. And so now that they don't have any pumpkins, I kind of want to see what these guys turn into. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our ice switch and flip it. And let's see what this turned into. And it made our arena ice, but look at this. It literally made some giant snowmen and they even got some ice weapons. Whoa, that's really cool. But what's even cooler than that is it kind of actually kept the happy face that it had. So that is a little bit cool. But I guess now my army is ready and Cardi's army is also now ready too. So Cardi, before we drop the walls, could I actually guess what you spawned in? Yes, you can, Smirky, but you're not gonna be able to guess. Well, I'm gonna guess right now. So before you pressed any levers, Cardi, I actually heard some blaze noises and I feel like if you spawn in blazes, they're gonna like, you know, obviously be a fire mob. So did you flip the fire lever? Wait, how did you even hear blazes? And yes, I did pull the fire lever. Oh my gosh, and Cardi, what did the blazes turn into? Did they turn into mutant blazes or blazes with armor? Well, uh, blazes with armor. I mean, they turned into blazes with armor, but how do you know that? Uh, just uh, I know my mobs, Cardi. That's the only reason why. But Cardi, I'm gonna tell you right now, I have a counter for that mob, and it is gonna completely destroy it with the exact opposite, and it has a giant weapon of the thing that those guys are really, really weak to. All right, Smirky. Well, maybe we should just drop the walls, and I am totally gonna win against your stupid mob. They're not stupid, Cardi. Anyways, let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And let's go, Cardi. And are you prepared to lose? Because your mobs are not gonna be able to kill my snowmen. What are these things? I don't think that I was gonna win, but wait, maybe I still will win. There is no way you're gonna win because my guys have some insane ice attacks that they haven't really done yet. And uh, one of them fell off the arena. But look, all of my mobs are falling too. Oh no, that's not good at all. But Cordy, it's not that big of a deal that all of them fell down there because we still have way more mobs up here. Oh my gosh, there are so many snowmen. There is no way my tiny little blazes win. I know, Cordy. And do you see the attacks that my snowmen can do? They can literally throw their weapons at them. What? And oh my gosh, so many of my blazes keep falling off. I think it's because their weapons do some insane knockback to them. Come on, blazes, you can win. And oh my gosh, they're taking so much damage. Yeah, they are taking damage and I think they're falling off. Come on, fall off even more, man. How do I only have one blaze and he's just standing on the edge. He is bound to get knocked off. Yeah, that definitely will happen, but he did definitely get knocked off, Cardi. And look at my snowmen. They just look super duper happy right now. I hate snowmen, Sparky. Let's reset the arena. All right, let's reset it because I completely destroyed you. And now we are on to the second round. But do not leave yet because I can spawn in way better mobs and I have some way cooler things to do. But anyways, let's see what Cardi spawns in for 
first before I do any of that. And it looks like Cordy is setting his arena to water. Wait, I'm a little confused about what he's gonna spawn in, but it definitely isn't a fire mob. And it looks like he spawned in a giant whale. Why did he spawn in a whale? Well, I wonder what this is gonna turn into because this is a pretty huge mob. And if you know anything about mobs, the bigger they are, the better they are. So this probably won't be that good for me. But I think he's heading over to the snow lever and let's see what this turns into. And he's pressing it. And what on earth did this turn into? This turned into a whale again, but it has a pirate ship on it now. Wait, I'm a little confused what this is, but it looks really, really cool. Maybe I should just ask Cardi what it is. Cardi, uh, can you give me a hint on what you spawned in? Because I'm a little confused about what you spawned in. Smirky, well, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I spawned in, but I'll give you a little hint. I started with a whale and it turned into a pirate ship and I just said what I spawned. Uh, a whale and a pirate ship? How did those two things even mix? Anyways, so a pirate ship has cannonballs, so does that mean your mob has, like, cannonball attacks? Yes, it does, Sparky. My mob is super OP. Oh, no, that's not that good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to making my mob now. Anyways, okay, so now that we're in my arena, we need to make a mob that can actually defeat Cordy's cannonball whale kind of thing, and I have an idea of what I want to try out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a block up here, and then we're gonna place down one thing, which is a fence, and now we're gonna try doing something. So I want to place a magma cube right here and put it on a chain and bring it up to the fence, which will actually turn into a wall so we can actually keep it on the chain. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a Yeti down here and put him also on the chain like this just to bring them both in the same spot. And what I have in mind is what if we flick the lever? Well, these two guys are in the same spot and we might be able to trick the game into thinking that this is one mob. And I kind of wonder what happens when we combine an ice and fire mob. Anyways, so we got our magma cube and yeti up here now. And now what I want to do is I want to go over here and I think I'm just going to go and activate this lever. And I think it worked because the entire arena is ice now and let's see what it turned into. And what on earth is this? Is this literally a fire and ice mob? Wait, I wonder what kind of attacks this guy has. Well, let's let it off this chain and actually see. And for now, let's spawn in a few more of these guys in whoa these are really really cool so now that we have a bunch more of these guys i kind of want to try out something i'm gonna get an iron golem and spawn it over here and see what they're gonna do to attack this guy and whoa look at that they can literally drop like ice spikes on him and whoa that's doing a lot of damage to him and it literally pushed him off the arena onto like some ice platforms what and uh, i think the iron golem is about dead well i wonder what kind of elder attacks these guys can do so let's spawn in another one right around here and then let's see what attacks it has and whoa look at that it literally spawned in a fire tornado to kill the higher gull and i think this is setting everything near it on fire and whoa that is a really really cool attack and they can just push this guy off the arena as much as they want wow that is actually so powerful but that means that these guys are gonna be really really good but anyways now that we have our whole army of them let's see if cordy is also ready to do the small battle because i know that i I am. And Cordy, are you ready to do the mob battle? And I hear some explosions on your side. Oh, what's happening? Smokey, I think your mobs are attacking my thing and my thing is shooting cannonballs. What the heck? Wait, so does that mean we should drop the walls? Yes. All right, let's go now. And now the walls are dropped and your mob is about to die because Cordy, I mixed two things. I mixed fire and ice mobs. Wait, what? Smokey mixed fire and ice? What? I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, I didn't know I could do that either, but they're all crowding around your mob because they can actually go in the water because they're part ice. No water. Oh my gosh. I thought because I chose an ice mob that it would evaporate all your fire mobs, but it's not. And it is definitely not. It's actually doing the opposite. It's putting literal fire tornadoes in the water. Fire tornadoes? What? I know. And Guardy, there are so many fire tornadoes now. What? This is like a fire wind storm and I think my whale is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, it definitely is and it is taking so much damage. How is something even being set on fire in the water? I didn't even think that was gonna be possible. How is fire in the water? And all your mobs are still alive. Yep, and because they will not die from either fire or water. This guy's 
are just actually so OP. No, and look at my guy. He's just stuck. He's not even moving at all. And he died. Now he's dead. Yeah, but I think he does something when he dies. And it definitely did. Why does it explode when it dies? Smoky, it's because when fire ships get destroyed, they blow up. Oh my gosh, I think you're right. But, uh, Cardi, I don't even think a single one of my mobs died from that explosion. How did none of them die? Let's just reset the arena. I can't believe I lost. Yeah, I think we do that. So now we are on to round three of the ice and fire mob battle. But now I have a really cool trick that I want to try out because that explosion of the last round gave me a really cool idea. So before we do our mob, let's see what Cardi is going to spawn in. And it looks like Cardi is spawning in some giant iguana king lizard mob. Whoa, okay, that's kind of cool. But I wonder what Cardi's going to do with this because it's not necessarily like a fire or ice mob. And I feel like this thing is just going to mutate into some something way better. But it looks like Cardi is next to a fire one. So let's see what happens when he flicks it. And he's flicking it. And he did it. And now his entire arena is fire. And look at what that lizard turned into. It turned into a giant like lava lizard. And it even has a gun on its back. Okay, that is really, really cool. But I feel like we could make something way better than this. Because remember what I said. There was an explosion last round. So I feel like you could turn anything into an ice and fire variant. So what if I spotted like a giant explosion and then I flick the lever? So I kind of want to see what happens when I do that. So what we're going to do to make this a giant explosion is we're going to grab some repeaters, redstone, and that kind of thing. And now what we're going to do is we are going to hook some redstone up to our machine over here and actually hook it up to something else to activate both of this thing at the same time. So we're going to set some stuff up like this and like this. There we go. So now if we put a lever right here, it should actually activate both these things at the exact same time. But now what we want to do is we want to extend this over this way so we can have a lot more time to pull this lever and make it so it's going to activate the Meteor TNT over here way quicker. And for the Meteor TNT that we're going to use to make our giant boss is going to be this Doomsday TNT called the like Chicxulub TNT. I don't know, but it has a giant meteor heading for the earth on it. So it must be good. But now what we're going to do is we're actually just going to hook this up to the fire one because I feel like it would be way cooler. So there we go. So now that we have this entire machine set up, let's just activate it like this. And now we have a little bit of time to go and activate this. And look, the meteor exploded. And oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? And what happened? It turned the entire arena into some special variant. Whoa, that is so cool. But look at what it spawned. That is literally the sun. I guess it mutated that like meteor that fell into the sun. Okay, so that is definitely a fire variant of that meteor, but I kind of want to see what this is going to do during the battle. So, Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am, Smirky, and why do I hear explosions? Cardi, I think it's because the wall is dropping. Let's drop them now! And the walls are now dropped, Cardi, and are you ready to lose because I spawned in the sun, and that is just going to kill whatever mob you spawned in. What? You have the sun? I literally just have a lizard. Yeah, I know, Cardi. And, Cardi, I think the sun literally split in two. And what is happening to your mob right now? Where even is it? I can't see anything, but look up. There's meteors. What? There's even more, and it's exploding for your mob. What? Is your mob even alive? Where is it? Marky, what do you think? You really think my mob can survive meteors? Uh, Cardi, I don't think your mob can survive meteors, let alone the literal sun. But now the suns are just going up into the sky with the other sun. What is happening? Oh, my gosh, Marky. I lost so fast. Yeah, I think that was like one of the fastest rides ever. Let's just reset the arena and go on to the next one. And now we are on to the fourth round of the mob battle. But do not leave because we are about to do an insane thing. And I think Cardi's going to do something insane too. Because he's been standing here and planning something. So I kind of want to see what he's up to. And he is spawning frogs. Okay, what he's doing might not be that insane. But I am kind of curious because there's no way he's spawning in a mob that's just like this bad. I don't know what he's doing. But let's just see what he's doing. And he's holding 
like a red block up. And now he's placing some repeaters on down. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about what he's doing, but I kind of want to see what happens. And I think this is what his army is supposed to be. So let's just see what happens when he activates it. And what on earth just happened? It turned the arena into a water arena. Okay, that's a little bit weird, but how did it do that? Wait, I think I know how. So we activated the ice one first and that turned into ice, but then he set up repeaters to activate this one. And that means that the ice was melted by the fire to make water. Wait, you can do that? Okay, that's kind of cool. But um, that means he has some water mobs. And I did not even know that was possible, but I guess now I can literally just get a mob that can just kill all the water mobs. So I guess we can literally spawn in a fire mob just to kill these guys. And I'll just spawn in some good fire mob. And what we are gonna spawn in is a giant fire dragon. And look at this guy. This guy is really cool, but these guys are already super powerful. So I wonder what would happen if we made them even more powerful by just turning it into a fire dragon again like this. And what did this turn into? And what what is this supposed to be? Okay, this does not look as good as that fire dragon we had, but it definitely is a dragon, I think. And it has some giant sword. Okay, hopefully it's good because I do kind of trust my machine to pick what mobs are good. But uh, I don't know what the heck these guys are. Anyways, I guess I have my army now. And Cordy, are you ready to do this mob battle? Yes, I am. And I have the craziest combination ever. Okay, Cardi. Well, if you have the craziest combination ever, I'm just gonna say I probably picked a mob to defeat your mobs. Anyways, let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And let's go. And what on earth is happening, Cardi? What, Sparky? I spotted these crazy water frogs and you spotted the exact counter. Yep, I mean, these are literally fire dragons, Cardi. And wait, Sparky, it's already killed one of my mobs and these fire dragons are evaporating the water out of my mob. I mean, yeah, Cardi, that definitely is happening, but it's not affecting the mob battle because everything is still fighting. Yes, yeah, Sparky, I'm totally about to win, by the way. There is no way that your counters destroy mine and wait, they are counters, so I think they might. Oh, Cardi, what? How are they gonna win? My mobs are literally just exploding, though. How do your mobs have explosion attacks and another one just died? And, Cordy, I think your last one is over here and whoa, did you see that attack? Your guys have crazy fire smoke attacks and there's even these explosion things in the water. Yeah, I know. It's really cool, but it's only a matter of time before this mob dies and whoa, that attack could have been bad. It literally launched this guy all the way over here. But even if this dragon died, you still have five more. I know, Cordy. It's only a matter of time before it dies and come on let's kill it and i think it's about to die let's go come on and no it died oh my gosh let's go in it the only way i want is because of my dragon's explosion power i thought this was gonna be a terrible mob to be honest how did you think this was gonna be terrible we'll just reset the arena and i'll win the final round the final round well you better because if you don't cardi i will win the entire mob battle let's go and now we are on to the final round of the mob battle. But if you've made it this far, remember to subscribe because there are so many people that watch these videos and don't subscribe. I don't even know why. But you guys should definitely subscribe because it helps me make these videos even more. But anyways, like I was saying, we are on the final round and do not leave because this round is about to be an insane mob battle. And anyways, now that we're here, let's just see what Cardi's gonna spawn in. And what what is Cardi spawning in? What are these guys? These guys look so derpy. But uh, I think these guys might be pretty good. And uh, I mean, they are a nice mob. So I guess Cardi is gonna flick the ice lever, of course. And he is flicking it. And let's go! And his the thing literally just made Yeti monsters. And uh, I think these guys are actually pretty good because look at that. They are kind of angry looking. But anyways, all we need to do for this round is literally spawn in a mob that can just kill them. And then we will easily get the win. And I have an idea. So what we're gonna spawn in is this mob called the Awful Gas. It's basically a way stronger gas and it has really cool armor. But now what we're gonna do is spawn in a few of them and come over to our fire lever and just activate it and see what happens. Cause I think it's gonna make something really OP if we actually mutate an OP boss mob like this. So let's just flick it and let's go. 
go and whoa look at this fire mob we got this is literally the mob i spotted last round but way 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 better and cordy are you just ready to drop the walls and be defeated yes i'm ready to drop the walls but i'm not ready to be defeated all right cordy well if you're not ready to be defeated you better get ready right about now and let's go and cordy look at this what did you spot you have these crazy gas i know it they're taking a lot of damage. Okay, that's not good. But somehow it's literally raining. I think your grass have this rain attack and I think my frost monsters are a lot smaller than your gas. Yeah, but my gas are taking a lot of damage and I think they can freeze my gas too. What? Come on, frost monsters. You could definitely win. There is no way. And Cordy, it's only a matter of time before your frost must die because uh, my gas are going to do some insane attacks and I think one of them literally got froze while I was sitting that. Smokey, your gas are doing insane attacks, but I think my frost mobs might actually have a chance. Oh, uh, maybe. But how many frost mobs did you start out with? Because I only see two right now, and one of them's, like, standing up for some reason. When I started with four, did two already die? I didn't even notice. I think so, and I think one literally just died. And the other one should die any second now. Come on, come on. And when it died. Yeah, I think it died, Cardi, and it's all gone now. But I think that means my gas literally defeated everything. How did your gas win? I guess they are really big and super OP. Well, Cardi, I feel like I should let you in on a little bit of a secret because, um, I was kind of picking counters to whatever you were doing every single round. But how did you know what mobs I had? Well, let me show you. I was using this block called One Way Glass and using this, I could basically see through the bedrock wall we had. Wait, what? You were cheating the whole time? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cardi, I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. All right, let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this Cordy and Smirky video, remember to like and subscribe and click on the mob battle on the screen now!